Hey guys, welcome to another video. We're gonna be covering Seamless Co-op today. And this mod's for Elden Ring, and you may know Elden Ring is known for its shitty net play, its shitty co-op features. This pretty much bypasses Elden Ring's co-op system and rebuilds it from the ground up. We're gonna be going over how to install this mod. It's real simple. We're also gonna be showing you how to play your normal profile on this mod without getting banned. So first things first, we're gonna step over to Nexus Mods. It's by Luke Yui. Thank you for this awesome mod. Make sure, before you download this, make sure you make an account on Nexus Mods or else you will not be able to download it. So once you make an account, we're gonna click manual download and pick the slow download unless you're a rich bitch and you got premium. Once that's downloaded, we're gonna open up the file. It's gonna want you to extract it. We're just gonna extract all of this. Um, I'm gonna extract it to my desktop. That way I can see it real easily. I suggest you do the same. So it's real simple. We got two files here. The seamless co-op folder. This comes with all the mod information, basically allowing the multiplayer to work. And then it comes with the launcher. So now we need to find our actual Elden Ring directory. So we're using Steam for this. So to find it real easily, we're gonna open up Steam, go to Elden Ring, right click, manage, browse local files. It's gonna take you right to the directory for Elden Ring. All right, so once we have the directory open for Elden Ring and we have the two files ready, we're just gonna click those two files, drag them into our game folder. So if we go into our game folder, here's the seamless co-op. And if you scroll down, here is the launcher for the game. So you're not gonna be opening up normal Elden Ring. It's actually gonna have a separate launcher for you. And this is key from not getting banned. So we're just gonna make a shortcut for this, make it real easy. Great shortcut. It's gonna bring it down here at the bottom. Here's the shortcut. We're just gonna bring it to our desktop. That way we can access it really easily whenever we wanna play Elden Ring modded. So now that we have our shortcut, we're gonna go up to the seamless co-op folder and you're gonna see a few things here. Seamless co-op settings is what you're gonna to wanna to open. So let's click on that. So this is where you're gonna set your password so other players can join. So make sure you add space. We're gonna do 69, 4, 20, 69. Once you've set your password, you wanna make sure all the other people that you wanna play with you has that same password. So after you've done that, let's save it. All right, so once you have your shortcut on your desktop, go ahead and open it. All right, so if you're starting a new game, you want to make sure you've at least rested at the first side of grace, the first step. And this should allow you to join or host. So assuming that whoever you want to join has the same password as you, this is how you can host a server. So you're going to press Y to open up your satchel. We're going to press the right item here. Open your world to new wanderers. Yes. And then other players will be able to join me now. So Evan, if you want to try and join me. All right. So as you can see, my friend has joined and he's not a ghost. He's not an invader. He's just a normal player. And we can play the game however we want with us together. So that's how you host. I'm going to show you how to join now. So if you want to stop hosting, if you want to end the server, you're going to open your satchel again. Press down and we're gonna withdraw from this world. It's gonna take you out of it. And then I'm gonna have my friend start hosting a server and I'm gonna join him. So whatever progress you do with your partner that you're with, it should go back to your normal world whenever you leave. So that's pretty awesome. All right, so my friend opened a server. I'm just gonna open my satchel, press left, join another player as a wanderer, and we're gonna join. It's gonna take me into his world. And here we are, I'm in his world now. So if you open up your inventory, you can actually see all the items that it gives you with the mod. It gives you a rune decanter. Um, this converts your runes into temporary power. I haven't actually used this yet. Um, here's the judic judicators, what the fuck? And here's the judicators rule book. 
This makes it where you can change the settings of the world if you're the host to make it where you can do PvE, PvP, however you want to do it. Um, this is the separation mist. This is how you exit the world with somebody. It's how you close the server. And this is the effigy of Melania. Um, this is how you join. And the tiny great pot. That's how you host. So that's all of the items that it gives you with the mod. Now let's say you want to play your original Elden Ring profile on this mod with friends. This is how you would do that. You're going to go down to the search bar and we're going to use the good old trusty percent app data percent. Once it pulls you to this folder, you're going to go down to Elden Ring. You're going to click this mess, all these numbers, you're going to go into that folder. And this is your profile saves for Elden Ring. As you can see, you got the CO2 extension for this one and the SL2 extension. The CO2 extension is um, carbon dioxide. <laughs> so the CO2 extension is the save file for your modded world and the SL2 is the file for your actual Elden Ring game, the vanilla version. So we don't wanna fuck anything up. We're gonna go ahead and highlight everything here. We're going to copy it and we're gonna make a backup of all of this just in case you mess something up. I like to make a backup for this kind of stuff so we can just name it Elden Ring Profiles Backup or whatever, it doesn't really matter. Doesn't really matter. And we're just gonna paste them into here just in case we mess something up. You don't wanna override any saves. So we're gonna take our SL2 folder, we're gonna copy it to our desktop. Oh fuck Windows 11. All right, once we got it copied to our desktop, we're going to rename it. And the only thing we gotta change is that extension. So we're gonna delete SL2 and type in CO2. It's gonna pull this up, basically asking if you're sure you wanna change this extension. We're gonna say yes. And then you're just gonna click and drag it back in, replace the file. This is why I wanted you to save a backup because you are replacing some files doing this. All right, so now that we've replaced it, let's open the game back up. And if you go to load game, boom, you have your normal Elden Ring saves here and you can play it on the modded profile without getting banned. So yeah, that's seamless co-op. That's how to install. It's quick and easy. You can use your own profiles for it. Like I said, link in description for the mod itself. Make sure to make a profile and also make sure you like and subscribe. And also feel free to check out our Elden Ring playlist to see some more gameplay. So yeah, thanks and have a good one.